Hey, what's up guys? Juvenile here. I am really excited because I've been wanting to do this Let's Play for a long time. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. Man, I remember when this game came out when I was like freaking like, what, 5, 6, 7 years old? I don't even know. PlayStation 1 was out and I was like, oh my god, PlayStation 1. I had never skated before in my life, I'm pretty sure. But I was like, man, this game's pretty cool. I actually played it first on like one of those free demos that like Pizza Hut gave out and they were like, play these games. They'd throw like a bunch of games on a demo disc. And I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. 5,000 points, smash the boxes, get skate, hidden tape, 15,000 points. Got it. I have played this game so much. I'm going to throw this out there right now. I'm Grizz. However, I haven't played it out. I haven't played this game in a while, so give me a break as I crash and bail flying through the hidden secret compartment. But I promise you, I'm going to get all these uh, goals in one minute because, god, that's not good. Um, while I'm off getting every gold gun, uh, every tape done, why are they tapes? I never understood why they're tapes. I'm like, I don't know, whatever. Um, man, this game was just so cool. Like, it, it, just playing it is just so nostalgic and awesome. I mean, it's still good today. I would seriously love it if they would uh, remaster this and like the second one, third one, fourth one in HD, release them all on like one PS3 disc. I would buy that in a heartbeat. I, if anyone's with me, like this video and let's uh, let's start a petition. Let's get. Uh, Activision to re-release these. It was such good games. And I don't know why this game was so addicting, and it still is addicting. I mean, look at, look at that. Boom. I, I've done this level so many times. It's just, it's just like second nature to just do... Well, now I've got everything done. But, um... I'm gonna try to hit a 900 right here. I know I can do it. I can do this. Hi, Darren. That's Darren. Lavo Churl, that's Darren. Alright, I'm gonna hit this 900 and I can do it. I know I can do it. I know how to do it. And then tail grab, okay. Close, get closer, get closer. And I know this video is a little bit long, but I, I, I'm I, done with half the game in this 20 minute video, so. Oh, 900. Uh, finish my tricks before landing it. Fuck you. I understand the concept. Ooh, that's not good. I like the little bit of blood that comes out every time he falls and hits himself in the face. Ooh, that's not good. Still not a bad run. Five tapes, all done. Warehouse, done. Even though it's the, one of the best levels in the entire Tony Hawk series. It's a little sad to see it go. Enter name, Mike. On that note, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself, so i got to try to fill 20 minutes. My name is Mike, as this is trying to I'm trying to spell. Uh, I'm a senior in high school, live in central New York, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. I love playing my video games. I've got PS3, Xbox, I'm not a fanboy of either. Um, I've been playing PlayStation since I was, like, a little child, and Nintendo 64 and all that. I still got my old PlayStation 1. I've got an old Nintendo NES. I've got a gigantic pile of games for all of them. I mean... I, if if you guys like this Let's Play, I mean, I can do a Let's Play for, oh god, let me look, uh, NASCAR Rumble, I don't know if you guys ever saw that, that game's awesome, it's basically NASCAR's with, like, superpowers, uh, Gran Turismo 2, Gran Turismo 1, um, now we're at the school, by the way, uh, oh, listen to that music, listen to the song, I, I have this song on my, I got all the songs from this, this game on my iPod, um, so here I am, doing everything I can, holding on to what I am, pretending I'm a superman. Oh, it's, you're, you guys are going to be lucky if you can get through this without me seeing it. Um, let's see what else I got. I have uh, Ready to Rumble, that boxing game with the dude with the afro on the cover, uh, Eggs of Steel, Cool Borders, Cool Borders. Two, uh, Crash Bandicoot, one, two, three, Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, Hydro Thunder, uh, Sim City, Spyro, Tony X Pro Skater 2, 007 Racing, Tekken, NFL Quarterback Club 97, Space Jam, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, uh, something over there that I can't see, March Madness 98, Driver, Driver 2, Cyber Tiger, Rugrats, Real Fishing, Real Fishing, my god. That'll be a fantastic Let's Play. That's coming out whether you guys want it or not. 
Super Warriors 2. Fighting Force. Fighting Force. That was a great game too. And this game is this game is just a classic. No, this this game will never it'll just never get old. And it's such a simple game. Just five tasks. Here's a level. Go do it. That's it. That's the whole game. And for some reason, it's addicting. Yeah, that's the hidden tape right there. It took me about. I remember when I was little, it took me such a long time to find that. Remember, finish your tricks before landing. Thanks. Thank you. That will come in handy. Oh man, this game is just nostalgic. It just. I don't know. This is a. Like, in stark contrast to the rest of the crap I put on my channel. It's like Modern Warfare 2, Fallout, and then there's Tony Hawk's Wars 1. But whatever. I. You gotta diversify, especially since I played this game so much, and, it, and not to like sound cocky, but I've pretty much done everything that there is to do in this game. I'm sure a lot of people have, but like, I mean, it just, I could probably play this game with my eyes closed and still do well. I mean, it's just, uh, this game, the second one I was, the second game I've done everything into, you know, I got Spider-Man legit without cheating, even though I also cheated a lot in that game, you know, like, physics and crap. Um, the, uh, the second one's a lot more in-depth. It takes much longer than this. This game, I'm, again, this is a 20-minute video, video. I'll be halfway done with the game, basically. That was an epic fail at grinding a lunch table. Um, well, I, was, I was talking about something else. Oh! Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, maybe? I don't know. Um, Oh, the rest of the Tony Hawk's... Ooh, Lusky's offline. He's Canadian. Um, let's see. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 wasn't bad. That was, like, uh, one of the first few games I got for the PS2. And, you know, it was, it's, it was cool. Um, it, I, it, it, it didn't... It was kind of like in its transition phase between the newer ones, where it's like there's people and you got to go talk to them and do their goals, and this, which is, you know, the... Here's the list of goals. Go do them. That's an awesome sky. It's just kind of like the building just kind of ends these just 2D worlds and whatnot. Um, by the way, I'm playing this on PS3. My PS1's in the closet, <laughs> and I really didn't feel like busting it out when I had my PS3 just kind of sitting there hooked up to my TV. So. Probably could have gotten those that like twenty five thousand high score points back here, but it doesn't really matter. This is gonna be a, an interesting let's play because it's like the two minute time limit. It's gonna just kind of be like, all right, here's two minutes, here's another two minutes, here's another two minutes. But it's, it's all right. I'm kind of trying to like mash them together here because I can usually get a level done pretty quick like this. I mean, I got done two runs, which the first one I got done one run. That just doesn't work. Wow. Deck now available. Stats increased. Yay! And yes, I picked Tony Hawk because he was he was like the only guy in this game that I liked being. Aside from Bucky, I I didn't really like it. I, I, when I was little, I never liked any of the other people. I wasn't like I never wanted to be Bob Burnquist. Everyone wanted to be Cream Campbell. I don't know why. I didn't like him. I never liked being him. Let's see who else was on here. Chad Muska was on here. That girl who no one ever plays as is on here. Uh, Jeff Rowley, he was on here. Was Rodney Mullen in the first one? I don't even remember. Look for gaps to jump for extra points. Okay. I'll try to do that next time. I don't know why, but all of the Tony Hawk games had just fantastic soundtracks. Like, this has Dead Kennedys, it has... Superman by Goldfinger it has um, this is fantastic song, uh, song, uh, song choices I don't know why they've all been like that probably one of my favorite Tony Hawks was American Wasteland I, I played that for so long and I, I beat it on like every difficulty like 20 times manuals were so fun in that game and this game was before the manual even existed If you guys like this kind of walkthrough, like the old PS1 game, like I said, I've got tons. And PS2 games, too, I've got a ton of those. And if, or, hell, I'll go out and buy one if you guys want to see one. Like, just leave it in the comments if you guys want to see a different Let's Play. 
um, of anything. PS3, PS2, PS1, NES. Hey, my God, if you want to see me freaking play RBI baseball with the fat dudes and the, uh, uh, gigantic baseball bats, tell me. I'll do it. This game's awesome, too. Uh, I mean, I've got a huge list of freaking NES games. I've got Mario, Mario, Zelda, stuff like that. While I'm thinking about it, because I'm sure I'll forget, um, check out uh, my friend I Revitalize his channel. He does, he mostly does um, uh, Call of Duty commentaries, but I figure if you're watching Tony Hawk commentary, you probably just like video games in general. Uh, so, you know, take a look at his channel. Maybe you'll like it. I don't know. He's, very, he's much more angry and yells a lot more than I do. Um, I just, I watch this game and it just makes me want to go play it. And I hope that has this, it has the same effect on you because this game really, I don't know. Maybe if we tell Sony or P Xbox or both of them, be like, hey, this game's awesome. Re-release it and we'll buy it from you. I would buy this again in a heartbeat if it was freaking uh, HD. Oh, man. Ooh, that's not good. I was going to say, yeah, no rebel. Not really. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I'm a senior in high school. That means I gotta, I gotta go to college. Soon. What do you think I should go to college? My grades are pretty decent. I'll probably be in the top, like, top ten in my class. So I don't know where to go to college. I go do this for the rest of my life. Just sit inside and make YouTube commentaries. Even though I have like 30 subscribers at the moment. I don't think it'll be very profitable, but those 30 subscribers, they'll be very satisfied, I promise. I'm having some serious difficulty grinding that lag thing, that freaking thing there. I think I went and I did skate here, and then I do the mall directories afterwards. After, after these first four levels, I will admit that the they get a little more difficult. That that was a complete epic failure. Um, the uh, the goals do get a little bit harder. Like, you'll it'll probably take a good 20 minutes of video just for me to get one goal, and that is the uh, secret tape on downhill jam when you have to like go up on a cliffside and jump over the big gap and get a get the tape. Oh my god. I'll do it. I'll do it just for you. Also, while I'm thinking about it, my friend the Matt Man, his uh, his channel will be in my uh, on my channel. Uh, like a link to it. Um, he's one of the funniest people I have ever met in my entire life. So yeah, that's right. I'm going down to the fast way. Um, he does commentaries on stuff. I don't know what, really, because he just got his PBR. He's been recording for a little bit. Um, see, I always, when I was little, I always, and I still now, I tried to go down that, and I always miss that little hole, which makes it a pain to go up and get this mall directory, but, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's a pretty awesome mall. It's just kind of like one... One straight shot, little turn, and then a straight shot down, that's it. Those elevators are pretty cool too, they're just gonna go up and down all day, all day, er day. Books. Books. I like how they grind, they're just gonna hold their arms out. Freaking trapeze arms, be like, yeah. I'm balancing. This is how I grew This is how I grew up. I don't know what the rails are. When this came out, I was hooked on it for just for like weeks, weeks straight. It was. I. I've just. Throughout my entire life, I've played this game. It When the PS2 was out, I still had my PS1. I was playing this. Now the PS3's out. Obviously, I'm still playing it. I, it it's timeless. It just will never be a bad game, I don't think. I mean, it's just... 
that's all that can be said about this. Is just, it's timeless. Oh, this is this is uh, it's time for me to kick some ass in this little uh, competition here. Her. All right, we're gonna hit this grind right here, right at the very beginning. Ready, ready, ready for this What the hell was that? Honestly, bounce off. All right, let's get to it. Let's get down to business right here. You can grind that little light fixture up there if you're getting the speed from the other side, but I'm just gonna stay in this half light and rack up a solid 50,000 points. I don't think I fall once. I'm not even going to go for the 900 right here because I know I'll fall. And it, you need to get your stats up a little bit more. You can get a little bit more air, a little bit more hand time. So you can get 900. That's how it works. It always has to work that way. Maybe I should change my deck. What do you think? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Bim, bim, bim. I don't know, off topic, we we'll start talking about PS3 slash Xbox in the near future. Guys, I think GameStop is going to collect at least... Oh, no, this isn't good. Oh, what a save. I don't think that ever happened in real life. No, I don't good for it. Um, GameStop is probably going to collect about... Probably about a good $400 from me in the month of November. So why do game developers insist on putting everything out in the month of November? Like, I understand, you know, Christmas, and they want things to uh, be on sale for the holidays, but when every single game developer drops their best game in November, freaking Modern Warfare 3 is coming out. Battlefield 3 is coming out in October, but still. Like, Batman, Assassin's Creed, um, Skyrim. It's, every, it's all the fantastic games are coming out in November. And I'll probably only buy, like, I love, I like trying to find a lot, but I'll end up getting probably Modern Warfare 3 and Skyrim first. I'm definitely going to end up having to get Assassin's Creed and Batman eventually, but those aren't on the very top of my list. But, Speaking of Modern Warfare 3, I played the Battlefield beta. There's a couple of videos on my YouTube channel about that, too. Man, I don't know, man. It's just... It just doesn't do it. This Battlefield is just... I don't know. I've just, I've just never been a fan of the Battlefield series, and I, it's just... That hasn't changed. It's, I, in my opinion, it's a PC game that can stay on PC, but... It's not a bad game, necessarily. It's just not my... It's just not my... It just feel it feels clunky. That's the, that's my that's my main gripe with it. it. Like when I play it, it just doesn't feel smooth. It feels like every movement is labored. And Call of Duty, Halo, uh, not really Gears, because Gears feels a little bit like that too. But Gears is awesome. Um, Call of Duty and Halo specifically just don't feel like that. Call of Duty, I understand, it runs 60 frames per second, and Halo is just just seamless. It just, there's just something about it. And this this run doesn't really matter that I'm doing right now because freaking uh, I already kicked Bussy Lula, Bucky Lasix ass. Congratulations! Next stop, downtown. <whistles> Yay! Dar, how you dar? How you darn? I don't understand those videos going on in the background. Those are supposed to be like music videos or something? I don't know. Alright. Ow, I can't believe I just talked for 20 minutes straight. Alright, I'm gonna have to come up with some new stuff to talk about. I'll see you guys next time.